all right hello everyone welcome back to mass effect happy friday um last time we got caught up <laughs> that video is two hours long <laughs> um hopefully we'll we can tone it down a little bit this time but yeah it was it was it was a lot it was definitely a lot um real quick so I woke up this morning and I was getting everything set up to record um, and just so that I don't put too much strain on my PC I run OBS on my laptop so I run this all through like a capture card girl a laptop started sounding like she was really about to take off she's always sounded she's always had that like hum but like now it's sounding raggedy so I don't know, it just, it stopped before I started recording. So I'm hoping that she'll be okay. But if you hear rickety playing in the background, it's just her letting you know that she's working really, really hard. Okay? So don't need to be alarmed. She's okay, she's safe. We're gonna get her checked out hopefully, but she is quite old. So I don't know. I actually think they don't make parts and stuff for this particular laptop anymore, so I don't know. I'd have to go like somewhere like mom and pop to probably even get her looked at but because I mean she runs fine everything runs fine she's just a little old she's just a little up in age you know what I mean and you know so we'll see hopefully she continues to stay awesome um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really use it for anything but like recording and editing. So I'm hoping that she'll be okay and that uh, maybe we can replace the fan eventually. But that's what's about to be happening. So just in case y'all hear rickety plane, pray for her, okay? <laughs> um, as always, make sure that you LCS, like, comment, subscribe. Um, so that way the laptop doesn't die. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this Mako. We were, uh, what were we doing? We saved this colony. I think we did everything that we needed to for that. Um, now we're going to these headquarters, which I think is where the Geth are supposed to be or something. Um, so yeah, what was this? Find the conduit, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rendezvous with the Solarian team. And then we have our Garrison Rex missions. What's this person? Our ghost cluster. Okay, that's right. I wrote this down. Hold on. I need my notepad. Argos and then Garrus is in, in the Herschel system. Okay. I told y'all I wrote this down for a reason because I'm gonna forget. Okay, but now we are at this place and I don't think anyone has a, a mission here, so. All right, let's get into it. Ugh. And now let's to the Geth it. base. Ready for anything, Commander. Which way? I assume that we're supposed to go this way. I just forgot really quickly how I'm supposed to drive this thing for a second.
didn't come back for the action. <laughs> oh, stuff in the way, bro. We've got movement. Some kind of vehicle, not one of the geth. They've got us on visual. We must be close. They're not our concern. We need to find those geth. Okay, hold on. There's far too much happening here. So are we not going down there? Or are we going down there? I'm so confused. Are we supposed to be going up here? Are we going to be going? This is this is absolutely terrible. It's moving it's off terrible. right to the Exergeny headquarters. Oh, those poor fools are in for a nasty surprise.
I think we're done here. I was just gonna twitch out. Okay. to go from here. Why is why is the music doing that? I hate everything about it. Looks like that's it with that. So then we need to figure out a way into this place, I guess. Somehow. to have alarmed them. When do we not alarm them, bro? That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. <laughs> Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? I suggest up. you put that weapon down unless you're ready to use it. Don't worry about him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Phi Dan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving despite everything the Geth have done to them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Are we getting close to their base? You're almost there. They're holed up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further down the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. 
I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. Shut the fuck up. Do you up. know what the Geth are after? I hate fucking irritating people. I have right? no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. It's Tell very me about personal, the colony. Bro. We established ourselves here four Cross years ago. Over to personal Growth when was steady war until happened. the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where's your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny oh, God, headquarters, I hope. How did you get split up from the Zoo's Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zoo's Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. And they're not coming, What was bro. the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... <laughs> wow. They really cut her off. Now, I wonder if we can go in, in there now. Mm. What did we get? I don't see anything. Well, maybe it's like stuff like this, probably, yeah. Okay. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Everybody wants something. Hurry up about it. Fair enough. I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Go on. I'm listening. <laughs> good. Good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. Well, that's very comforting. Certain death for some, fine for us. It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny lately? Fine. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. Oh, I plan to look around because I'm nosy money. as hell. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Hmm. Good for you, Time man. Time to get moving. Good Just for you. Just keep in mind what I said. Yep, 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 yep. Keep it on the hush hush, got it. I survive this. I'm going back to Earth. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I can go that far. 
We ran when the attack hit. Uh, clearly. Alright, so now we'll be able to get through this door situation. Terrible FD thing I'll be making me drive. Uh, well, we'll cut this part out. Or speed through it, whichever one. Whichever one I feel like giving. En route. I'm very confused. Looks like the Geth are settling in nicely. Ah. Ooh, could see. Damn it! I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Varen. Who are you and what are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. I'll fight my way through the Geth soon enough. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. If you know something, tell me. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? I have never heard of such a thing. It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. Mm-hmm. I need more information. Mr. Jurassic Park I need again. To know why the Geth are after this Thorian? I, I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Sure. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. <laughs> I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. 
I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. All targets Exogeny down. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Don't care. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Wow. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. We should contact Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We must find a way around the field. We must get back to Zoo's Hope. V.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Mm -hmm. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Gross. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. 
Individual employee records are confidential. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. What the? Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, Research Assistant, Biomedical Division. Security Level 4 Exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. That was all those in the corner. Dislodged. One of the other claws may have a weakness we have yet to detect. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? You think the Geth come here to pray? Do synthetics even believe in God? This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. 
Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? Hmm. You think the Geth come here to pray? Do synthetics even believe in God? We may never know. What is this music, bro? A lot of them up here. Y'all ready? Enemy sighted.
test samples are due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect the samples become volatile and recommend cutting off any further contact with the Nudocrux colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the event back to us. Well, so much for that, big dog. Um... I hit on. No, did I hit T? Maybe I hit T. <laughs> paying attention same as before we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw let's keep looking Did we get them? Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. How do we do this? Can we do this? I'm trying to repair ticket. I'm to wear the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower. The safety shutoff kicks in if the PSI is above 34. If the PSI is in 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through a metal high beam. Somebody fixed this before. One of my team loses an arm in that thing. Mm. Interesting. Thirty, right? Isn't that the Oh god. Nope, no, just shut down. Okay. Oh god. Thirty. That puts me at thirty. 
And then he says it's gotta be so this is twenty-eight. So close. <laughs> Don't trust this Corvus group. They may pay as well, but if it gets out before we've developed an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want the samples for or why they wanted them delivered to the Montana system. My records show nothing of interest out there. in Citadel space. This information is accurate, Darian. They're amassing a <coughs> significant force somewhere in the Armstrong Nebula. Okay. I mean, it was in this. confused. <laughs> will be open now. We can head back and deal with the Thorian thing. Wow, that got the job done. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. Uh, will do, Commander. We'll fire off a few warning shots. That should send him running. We're leaving, but let's rid this place of those damn synthetics before we go. <laughs> she said, fuck those colonists. <laughs> I keep... Okay, okay. We are like, what the fuck did I get myself into? Yes, it's, it's like that out here. It's rough and rugged. Y'all, if you were from where I'm from, then you would know. 
Then I gotta get mine in a big black dress that you can get yours in a six fold. Whatever it is, party's on the way. Lift your cap and throw your hands up and let me hear the party say. Cannibals and it's all because. South Central does it like nobody does. All my favors, you got my favors. Um, I know, I'm sorry, random, random burst in the song there, but I've been listening to like a lot of like the oldies lately. Get in here. I don't remember now. Don't remember how to get out of here. All right, speed montage. Speed montage of me trying to get out of here. There you are. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. Uh, I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I. I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. Where's the Thorian? The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Girl, I'm taking you back to your mama. <laughs> that's all I said I was gonna do was take you back to your mama so that's what I'm doing taking you back to mom's and I am recording this on Mother's Day so it's fitting <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, we leveled up again. Love to see that.
all about. Maybe you'll find out. This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. That's my mom! Stop! Stop! They're over! You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope that Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. I really don't care. Not this time, Jong. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zoo's hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You're a bean counter, Jong. I'm a specter. Tell me, how good are those odds? <laughs> specter, it's a load of crap. There aren't any human specters. Right? Is that really a chance you're willing to take, Jung? Exogeny will send more assayers. They'll know what happened. Tell them the Geth destroyed the Thorian. Yeah, but the infected colonists can't be here when the company men come. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. Good plan. Except the colonists stand between me and the Thorian. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. Can I kill him? I just, I just want to kill him. All right, anyway. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. It wasn't too difficult. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Damn. It's almost time, isn't it? Maybe we can free our friends after all. I have to help them. It's my fault this happened. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. I'm listening. I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. But I will not hesitate to shoot one of them. I'm just saying. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. <laughs> I stop at genocide, guys. Okay, Jeez. the one person is fine, but you know, I don't. Know. I'm not here to commit genocide. I've already done enough war crimes. <laughs> you know, letting people die.
I love how he brought that up like I was gonna care. I know what you did on this mission, which is why you're still so doing it. Like, oh, I'm like, you know that, but you don't know I'm Inspector. Okay. <laughs> cool story, bro. He really said that shit like I was gonna care. <laughs> like, sir, I'll put two between your eyes and sign. <laughs> That's all the more reason you should probably chill out. <laughs> Stop talking to me crazy. It's a husk. It's a lot. Yep. What is that? There's no way that's human. Infection or not. No hitting the colonists. Even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. You got it, Commander. Let's do this. God, I'm so fucking terrible, bro. I'm gonna end up killing these fucking people 100%. Oh, do we have to open it? Open it? Oh, okay. I thought, I thought we... Okay. Hostile contact! Very good. Take him 
the crane. Can you make sense of the controls, Commander? Tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! That was. about that. I mean, he tried. He really tried. Ew. I'm gonna figure out how to get rid of them. Cause no sir. Okay, by the numbers. We just need to find find them. What is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? How is this a plant, bro? This is a whole sentient ass being. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world. Extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed <laughs> you grow.
turn around and hit stuff. And then they just stand there. Just, uh, just a quick second. I'm just gonna do this really quickly. Okay. Perimeter clear. Excuse me, just give me one, one second please, just give me a sec, thanks, I appreciate you guys pausing your combat for this. I'm sorry, the combat noises are going to be really, really loud over me. So Negative just... contact, Shepard. Alright, well, you guys want to come in here, or...? Alright, deal with them. I need cover fire.
Jesus. <laughs> Another one running, huh? Well, now I have cutscene armor, so you can't get me. He's more like a shrimp than a bug, bro. <sighs> I have more of these things, bro. I'm over it. I'm free. I. I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Uh, How did you end up inside that thing? My name is Shiala. I serve. I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Uh... Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Then why were the Geth trying to destroy the Thorian? After Saren had what he needed, the Thorian became a liability. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. 
The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Do you know what the conduit is, or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Procyon extinction. Well then whatever it is, we can't let him have it. You have the cipher. In time your visions will clear, they will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it, before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation <coughs> broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Fair. Fair. It can be both. It can be both. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Hmm. Okay, we stand growth. We stand growth around here. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. I mean, what should we do then? Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. Alright, whatever. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. I can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. Well, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. Hmm. <laughs> thank you so much. Now Exogeny will pour the money in. We'll be able to rebuild and then some. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. I'm not talking to that asshole. How do I get out of here now? Oh, this is our dude. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined, filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Goodbye. I wish you well in your future efforts. Thank you. 
Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. It will take time for things to get back to normal. Thank you for freeing us. It'd be that way sometimes. Somewhere. Is that what it was? Child, I do not remember. Catch up with everybody. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in- Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I just need some time to let this cipher do its thing. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! That was... incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Um... I mean... I mean, I think, did they, didn't they tell us about Pharos? I can't Joker. remember. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, is this some kind of game? Are you calling in a report just so you can cut us off again? Don't piss me off, and I won't disconnect you. You don't make demands on us, Shepard. Spectre's answer to the Council, not the other way around. 
Goodbye, counselor. That never gets old, does it? <laughs> like, bro. What? I try to give y'all a chance. Y'all keep playing. All right. Um, maybe we can go talk to our peeps. See how they're doing. At ease, soldier. <laughs> you like, yeah, tell that to Sarah and Big Dog. You talking to me, you like... This is why I don't talk to y'all. This is why I don't call no more. <laughs> this is why I don't call y'all. Right here. This type of shit. <laughs> what did I say? Don't piss me off and I, we can have a call. What did you do? You started talking Shepherd. shit. You need something? Uh, okay. No. Shit. I should go. See you later. She doesn't have anything new. I don't think he has anything new or he shouldn't. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Oh? What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. Garrus. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. I always knew CSEC's methods were flawed, but it's more than that. I can see now just how dangerous that type of thinking can be. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Okay. <laughs> Shepard. Mm, I don't know. What is so it? you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you decided to go your own way? I decided killing for credits was better than killing for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. Hmm. Exactly. That's why I hired you. And that's why I joined. So I wouldn't have to deal with them. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. So long, Rex. Shepard. No, I am not talking to Ashley. That is by design. <laughs> Commander. Are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Sure. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time, and Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? 
There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. <laughs> I'm the best of what... If I'm the best of the humanity has to offer, bro, we're... <laughs> we're fucking doomed. <laughs> it is not... It is not good. It's not good at all. <laughs> Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. <laughs> You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. You so fast, But it has bro. grown beyond that. My interest in you, however, is strictly professional. I want to make that clear. It is obvious that you and Lieutenant Alenko already have some type of relationship. I would not want to come between you. I mean, that doesn't matter. <laughs> My relationships are none of your business. I apologize, Commander. I should not have mentioned it. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. How <laughs> we're stuck with Caden, y'all. I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> so close now. When we deliver everything, the Council will have to mobilize around us. If we could get the Council on our side, this could become a great opportunity for the Alliance. I don't know. They haven't shown any interest in listening to us so far. We've got the weight of evidence on our side. You'll convince them. I can see how you hauled yourself out of the gutters on Earth. I don't think I've ever met a woman like you. Keep that in mind after this is over. I will be tracking your shore leave, mister. Well, I kind of hoped any shore leave would be joined. Oh, God. No bull, Shepard. I want to follow through with this. It's tough keeping it separated from duty. But when the mission's complete, it'll be different. I hope you feel the same, ma'am. How did, how did we end up in a romance with Caden, bro? I did not think this is how this would go at all. Whatever. I guess we're here now. I hear you, soldier. I'm waiting with bated breath. Oh, you are good at that. Good at what? Shepard, you are hard to step away from. We'll get this done, Commander. The sooner the better. <laughs> we'll talk later, Caden. <laughs> Don't. I'd like that. Good at what, Caden? Nothing has happened. I okay. I'm I'm going. <laughs> Jody, I don't, I'm not even sure how any of that happened. Uh, oh, this is not where I need to be. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> so confused. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end the video here. <laughs> God. Um, we're in a romance with Caden now. That's that's how that's going, apparently. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't know that was going to be where we were going to go with that. But anyway... Um, <laughs> here we are. Um, we completed the Pharaoh's, uh, mission. Um, we can, let's see where we're at. So we're done there. What's this place? Okay, nothing of importance there. I think 
we did um last episode ow <clears throat> reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need oh someone God, to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hack it out. <laughs> okay. Travel there, and then we will uh, end. We'll save. Um, <laughs> thank you guys, as always, for um, for watching um, and subscribing. Thank you so much for subscribing as well. Um, if you are subscribed, if you aren't, just hit that sub button, girl or boy non-binary person shit <laughs> um make sure that you lcs like comment subscribe again okay my laptop ain't over here with the fan sounding like a a, a crop dusting plane uh for nothing okay she's working hard um <laughs> So if you're going to like and subscribe for somebody, like and subscribe for her because she has been just really, really trying. I just realized, like, she's kind of buckled. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. She's, look, she's getting up in age, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's probably time to let her retire, you know, but... Anyways, um, thank you as always for watching. We're this is what this will be part eleven. Um, we get back. We'll do some more galaxy running around. You know. Um, so I'll see you guys next Friday. Love you. Bye.